Today on VRS TV Investigates, if you choose an LED light that's more closely proportionate to the size of tank area that you want to illuminate, will you see better performance in spread, reduced shadowing, or even par throughout the entire tank? Today we test the larger panel style Orphic Atlantic V4 LED to find out how mega tanks like this 2000 gallon mixed reef or hundreds of other reefers using the same Orphics are able to create beautiful works of living art in their own homes. The settings, data behind these LEDs are coming up. Hi, I'm Randy with this Friday's BRS TV Investigates, where we experiment on our own tanks so you don't have to experiment on yours. And today, we seek out the ideal spread, spectrum, and par of the Atlantic V4 to help those of you considering this LED module over your own tank to get a better understanding of how to use them to create awesome tanks like these reefers have already been able to accomplish for themselves. If you remember, we've already witnessed firsthand the amazing results that come from using a bank of 24 Orphic Atlantic V4s when we toured Sean's 2000 gallon heavy SPS mixed reef, but there's no denying the success that hundreds of other reefers have achieved when they share their tanks on reefing forums like Reef to Reef. So to give the Orphic its proper due, today we're putting it to the test on our own two foot by two foot cube and four foot by two foot test tanks for a better picture into how you can achieve awesome tanks like these using your own Atlantic over your own tank. Right off the bat, I'll say that the results you'll see from our testing will demonstrate how we believe the Orphic V4 is the right tool for the right job for reefers who require more than higher average mounting heights, upwards of 15 to 18 inches or more. However, within our BRS testing criteria and standards for every light that we test, Today you'll see how trading slightly more light efficiency loss or light spilling out of the tank will likely be the best way to achieve our PAR goals for the most common LPS and softy tanks and SPS dominated systems, which is likely how most reefers already using the Orphic have created their own stunning tanks. A little extra light spill inside the surrounding room isn't a deal breaker for everyone, and although Orphic remains one of the first reef LED lighting manufacturers to embrace the larger panel of LEDs, instead of chasing down the smallest, most compact lighting fixture. They've also been one of the only lights that we've tested which addresses light spill into your eyes from a sitting position by incorporating a large acrylic bottom panel below the LEDs that helps to reduce visual spill into the eyes, focusing more light down into the tank and effectively raising the mounting height potential of this larger panel of LEDs. So with that, let's dive right into today's testing and reveal the results for spread, spectrum, and par from the Orphic Atlantic V4, starting with our test to determine its spread by identifying the right number of modules for our tank type goals, finding the optimal mounting height, and learning how to properly space multiple modules if necessary, all three with the goal of achieving an even spread of light intensity that wraps around our corals and minimizes hot spots, cold spots, and shadowing. Let's hit that first component of spread and how many Atlantic V4 panels we recommend for both lower light demand tanks like LPS and softies or higher par demand tanks full of branching SPS, where our testing results show that over a 24 by 24 inch area, a single Orphic V4 is ample enough to support both tank types by simply changing the overall intensity of the recommended LED channel settings that we're going to share a bit later. As for lighting a tank area that is double the length of 48 inches by 24 inches, as much as we'd hope to see a single 24 inch Orphic get the job done for our LPS and softy tank goals, even at a super high mounting height of 24 inches off the water, it just doesn't produce the spread that we aim for to cover a full four foot tank from edge to edge. In which case, if you were set on using Orphics to light a similar 48 inch area for corals with lower par demands, I would recommend checking out our tests for two Atlantic V4 compacts instead. However, if your goal is to dominate your 48 inch tank with SPS colonies and branching sticks, two Atlantic V4s is our recommendation to get you there. And since each fixture is 24 inches, they actually look really good mounted side by side over a four foot tank, which plays to the benefit of using two lights for a tank this size by removing the guesswork of how to space them properly for the most even spread, because two are a perfect fit. So with that, we've knocked out two of the three components to determining the ideal spread for the Orphic V4, but we've saved the most important component for last, which answers the question of how high we recommend mounting them over your tank. 
To approach this test, we mount a single Atlantic V4 over our 24 by 24 inch testing area at six inches off the top of the water, measure the par across 36 data points in the top six inches of the tank, then raise the light one inch at a time until we find the most even spread and distribution from the center to the outer edges as possible. There is a stopping point to this test, and that's when we see the total average par across all 36 points fall below 15% of the starting point, meaning that 15% or more of the light output is lost to efficiency and related light spilling out of the testing area and into the room. Let's look at that Orphic mounting height test at the very low six inch mounting height off the water and from the 858 center, 233 outer ring and 402 total average par, we can see just how the longer width of this light acts inside a tank, where rather than a single point hotspot directly in the middle of the tank, the hotspot is actually stretched across the entire tank in the middle, where there's par as high as the 700s on the left and right edges, yet in the extreme corners, the pars only reaches 40s and 50s, indicating that we need to mount it much higher in order to achieve an even spread. Again, we did test the light inch by inch, raising it upward, so let's check in at 10 inches off the top of the water, where there's now a total average par of 364, meaning a 9% loss of light efficiency from where we started, yet we've cooled down the center to 692 and increased those extreme corners of our testing area by double or more, which shows that the light is now being spread out more evenly across all 36 data points. However, it's not until we reach a mounting height of 15 inches off the water where we find that 15% threshold for light spill, meaning that for our goals, the test is complete and we were able to decrease the intensity of the hotspot center to 557, while at the same time increasing those extreme outer edges more evenly, which is not only going to increase the optimal coral placement areas, but also benefit us a bit later when we show you our recommended intensity settings, providing you with a template starting point to set up your own V4 for similar tanks. And we are one step closer to sharing those recommended settings, intensities, and PAR you can expect to replicate from using them, but there's one more aspect to lighting that we need to cover first now that we have a better understanding of the Orphic V4 spread, and that is spectrum. In this next light testing section, you can expect to walk away understanding three important components to the spectrum that the Atlantic provides. First is what spectrum it has to offer through its four controllable channels, which provides an idea of what spectrum ratio mix you'll be able to create. Some lights having as many as eight controllable channels to choose from, while others having just one, yet each all have their individual specific intended purpose and job to do. Knowing the individual spectrum availability is the first step in choosing a spectrum ratio mix that meets the needs of our corals metabolically, as well as creating ideal coral coloration, which is the second spectrum component we'll discuss and provide you with our recommended settings to create a spectrum ratio mix that we believe meets those needs and comparing that recommended spectrum mix against the very popular light gold standard option, the ATI Blue Plus T5 bulb. And that third component to understanding the Orphic spectrum lies in a dynamic spectrum test that will determine how well the Atlantic's lens design and LED arrangement will blend our spectrum ratio mix into one uniform spectrum blend, where we're left with one even color inside the tank rather than a bunch of individual LED colors. Up first, we familiarize ourselves with those four available channels from the Orphic, starting with channel one, which is a mix of white, yellow, and green LEDs that has a predominant spectral peak in that green to teal range of 495. Channel two with its peak at 460 is what most would consider being royal blue and a range where we typically find the most coral pop. That third channel is a mix of UV and violet LEDs which provide us with one of the widest representations below 420 that we've tested, while channel four is a mix of red, orange, and some blue LEDs that give it a warm red-orange to slightly warm purple look in the tank, which we will wind up using sparingly in the next component of spectrum where we test and create our BRS recommended spectrum ratio mix. Our approach to creating that spectrum mix follows the thought process of creating as wide of a blue spectrum band as possible between 400 and 500, where corals draw a large majority of their energy from by turning all available blue and UV channels to max, then we add in some white to balance out that heavy blue for our eyes and add in some red channel a little more sparingly to accent the entire thing. 
After applying this approach to our Atlantic V4, we struck a balance for each of these criteria by setting channel 2 and 3, which is blue and UV and violet, to 100%, channel 1, that predominantly white, to 60%, and channel 4, the oranges and reds, to 20%. Here's what that recommended spectrum ratio looks like, and when we overlay the ATI Blue Plus spectrum over top, we find that although it's not as thick between 420 and 450, it does match up pretty well in other areas below 420 and beyond 460, making it a solid choice for the spectrum goals that we set out to achieve. Now we move on to our third component of spectrum testing with a dynamic test of blending, where we set the Orphic to our recommended spectrum ratio mix we just gave you, mounted it at 15 inches off the top of the water, and use a spectrometer to take 10 spectrum readings under our 60 gallon tank of turbulent water, looking for extreme shifts to that spectrum, which would indicate color separation and poor spectrum blending. As we cycle through those 10 readings, other than some peaks and valleys that fluctuate below 435 and in that violet near UV range, for the most part, our recommended spectrum remains relatively blended. All right, we've now come to the point where we tie all of this data together and the testing that we learned today into some real world usable settings and intensities to help you dial in your own Orphic, or at least provide you with a template starting point so you can make smarter, more informed adjustments at matching your own tank goals for par. In that spirit, we keep two tank type goals in mind for dialing in our recommended settings, and those are for tanks filled with LPS softies and polyps like these tanks you see here, where PAR demand is in a target range of 75 through 150 throughout as much of the tank as possible. And those second tank type PAR goals revolve around those show-stopping SPS dominated systems like these that are filled to the brim with branching corals, which require typically higher average PAR, our target par range for these types of tanks is to fill the area top to bottom and side to side with par between 200 to 350 as best we can. Let's see how well we were able to tune our 24 inch Orphic V4 to hit those target ranges first in a two foot by two foot 60 gallon cube test tank for both LPS and SPS systems, then find out what these larger panel LEDs can do at achieving the same goals on a tank double the length at four foot by two foot. In either case, in both tests, we will mount the Orphix at 15 inches recommended mounting height off the water, set them to that BRS recommended spectrum ratio mix. However, to reach our specific PAR goals for each tank type, we will adjust the overall intensity of that ratio up or down in order to hit as many PAR data points as possible from the top down to the bottom of each tank. Starting with our 24 by 24 inch 60 gallon testing area and LPS softy PAR goals, in attempting to fill as much of that tank as possible with par between 75 to 150, we were able to hit 79% of the entire tank or 85 out of 108 data points measured at 6, 12, and 18 inches deep in the tank. And in order to do that, we lowered our spectrum ratio mix to 40% meaning that channel two and three were at 40%, channel one was set to 24%, and channel four was set to 8%. Next up in our 60 gallon testing area, we targeted those SPS dominated par goal ranges of 200 to 350, where we tested 68% or 73 out of 108 data points in the top, middle, and bottom of the tank with our recommended spectrum ratio mix set to max with channel two and three at 100%, channel one at 60, and channel four at 20%. As you can see, these settings perform very well at 12 and 18 inches deep in the tank, yet remains a little on the warm side in the top six inches, which can be improved by raising the light a little higher off the top of the tank, keeping in mind that doing so will result in slightly more efficiency loss. Now that we've dialed in a 24 by 24 inch testing area using a single Atlantic V4, let's see if a single Orphic over a tank twice that length at 48 inches can achieve our same 75 to 150 par goals, in which case, to maximize the spread of a 24 inch module over a tank twice the size, we need to raise the light significantly higher than our recommended 15 inches off the water. We found the best spread possible at a mounting height of 24 inches, which still isn't ideal for complete coverage across a four foot area, and is demonstrated in that 63% of the entire tank reaching those 75 to 150 par goals. However, now that we have a clearer picture into what you can expect to achieve using a similar setup, you can better decide if this is the right option for you or if a better tool for the job exists, such as choosing two smaller Orphic compacts 
which are far more cost effective than using two full size V4s for these lower par demands, and spreads the light out more evenly with the extreme left and right edges because you can space them further apart. Next up, we test the performance of two Orphic V4s for our goal of filling the four foot test tank from top to bottom in par between 200 and 350. Again, we mounted them side by side at our recommended 15 inches off the top of the water, and this time lowered our recommended spectrum ratio mix by 15% across all four channels, meaning channel two and three are set to 85%, channel one at 51%, channel four at 17%. With these settings, we find a total of 131 out of 198 par data points in that 200 to 350 pocket, which is a pretty solid performance at 12 and 18 inches deep in the tank, Yet the increased average par in the top six inches of the tank brings the entire tank to just 66% of all the testing points and just 4% shy of our 70% goal. So that isn't to say that the goals that we're trying to reach are unattainable, but rather in order to more effectively use the Orphic as the right tool to get us there, it will require them to be mounted slightly higher than what we found to be optimal so that we can find a sweet spot where the top, middle, and bottom of the tank are more evenly covered. That said, we raised the Orphix to 18 inches off the top of the water and retested with our recommended spectrum ratio increased to 95%, or channel two and three at 95, channel one at 57, and channel four at 19. And now we've improved to 72% of the entire four foot by two foot test tank falling at or within 200 to 350 goal. This actually goes to show that with a little bit of tweaking and some toleration in light efficiency loss, we can adapt our tools to perform better by setting them just outside of what might be considered most ideal. So does that mean that the Orphic Atlantic V4 is the right tool for your tank? Well, if evidence like Sean's 2,000 gallon mixed reef or handfuls of other successful reefers who've shared their tanks on forums and reefing groups haven't convinced you yet, look at your tank with the data that we showed you today in mind and ask yourself questions like, what mounting height works best for me? Will matching the size of my light to the size of my tank better serve my needs? Do I like the idea of having only four color channels to control? Within those questions lies your answer, yet if you need a little more inspiration on what you can achieve using the Atlantic V4 panels, then you better check out the full tank tour Ryan and I did of Sean's epic 2,000 gallon system right here in northern Minnesota.